Welcome to the last Our Wyoming Life video of 2020. It's our 2020 wrap up and I'm very happy that you're here. This video is a community video. It's a video for those that have been following along with Our Wyoming Life for the past year and want to see the whole year uh, from beginning till now and get our perspective on the year and how things shaped up for us at the ranch. Now that being said, if you are new or not yet a fan of Our Wyoming Life, that's no problem because today is a great place to start check out the comments because I'm gonna ask you to leave a comment on this video telling me what videos from this year or even what moments were your favorites from 2020. Then we can all look at the comments, be reminded of those moments that touched us and maybe even go back and relive some of those experiences again. After today, we're gonna to be taking a break through Christmas and into the new year. We'll return in January and we'll announce that return date on Facebook and Instagram in the next couple of weeks. We will continue to bring you The Ranch Life on Facebook and Instagram, as well as our podcast, The Our Wyoming Life Experience, which you can catch wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. So don't forget to comment below and let us know your favorite videos and comments on the channel. And if you're really ambitious, leave a link. When we find ourselves missing the ranch, hit the comments and find a video that you may have forgotten and experience it all over again. Now, there's about a week left in 2020. None of us are gonna be sad to see it go. But I believe that 2021 will bring its own challenges and what really matters is how we deal with them down the line. This year, we invited you to come and join us on the ranch 138 times on YouTube. In 2020, more than 10 million people watched Our Wyoming Life for a total of 1.5 million hours, or 171 years of watch time. That all started on January 14th this year, when we took a chance and went to sell our last year's crop of calves at the sales barn in sales day, 2020. Overall, it's not too bad. It's only about 10 degrees, but the calves are loading just fine. Normally, we'd have the added stress of them just being taken off their moms, but 90 days later is just a, another day of moving through the corrals. There are thousands of cattle ready to be sold today and each group waits in their own set of corrals, all kept separate by a number of cowboys in charge of sorting and keeping them straight. Inside the sales barn, we register as sellers and find ourselves in the bleachers, watching batch after batch of cattle come and go, along with the hours. Eventually though, our calves do enter the ring, lighter than we hoped for, but still getting a decent price, averaging over $1.70 a pound. They continue on from the ranch and we head back to it, not with our tails between our legs, but with the burning desire to do something better and smarter for the ranch. Every year on the ranch is a learning experience. This is the first year that we wean calves. I'm sure that there's ways that we can do to make it better next year and we'll make some changes next fall. We're gonna to continue to keep diversifying our income sources. More animals will be kept back for local sales and jerky is soon coming to the website in abundance. So we're gonna keep learning, keep changing, keep adapting so that we have more control over the future of the ranch. It's true, we had to hold our calves over and it did pay off. We sold our calves at a slight profit, giving the ranch one, uh, the one paycheck it needs per year to try to make a go of it in 2020. After all the bills were paid, we took off into 2020 and we realized that we'd better come up with some more ways to make more money on Diversify on the ranch. Aaron came up with a plan to change a room in the shop into a grow room for microgreens and I got painted into a corner. But we kept going. The farm store reopened after Christmas break and life was as normal. In fact, we banked on our normal life, continuing when we opened the original farmhouse for anyone who wanted to come and visit the ranch through Airbnb. But then a little bug made a big showing and changed how we saw our Wyoming life. The, the appearance of COVID-19 luckily lined up with calving on the ranch. 
Hi, I'm Mike from the YouTube channel, Our Wyoming Life. And if you're looking at self-quarantining, I have a method for you. Whether you're avoiding the coronavirus, in-laws, door-to-door toilet paper salesmen, or the myriad of other crazy people out there in the world today, you're just one step away from isolating yourself from it all. The process of becoming someone that lives on the edge of society, somebody who doesn't trust anyone and always looks a little bit off themselves is easy, and it can be done in just three easy steps. Find some land, get some cows, and enter calving season. That's right. If you want to check out from this crazy society, become as close to a hermit as you can and not have any contact with anyone, just get into calving season. As an added bonus, you will wash your hands more than you have the entire past year as you'll get more than just dirt in places you never thought you'd find it before. And as an added added bonus, the germs you will encounter will give your immune system plenty of practice, just in case you need that extra boost of health force. You won't get sick. You can't get sick because nobody else will do the job for you. And you won't even have time to get sick because you'll work 24 hours a day. It's called calving season. It's the best antisocial self-quarantining immune boosting plan you can find on the market today. Go to Our Wyoming Life to find out more. While you're there, check out the jerky prepper kits. They're for the man with a bug out kit on the go. See ya. Though we poked fun at it, in reality, people were scared. And we made a major change to how we approached making videos. And that began on March 21st with the very first ranch vlog. That began 30 days of bringing you along every day into calving and every single job, task, chore, and experience on the ranch. We went from our highs to our lows, and we brought you along with us. A calf, look at that. It is a baby cow. Uh, she has done her job. It is a live baby calf. We're gonna come up and take a look at this little one who was just born. Hey, mommy. Good job, kiddo. Yeah, you did good. Look at that baby you made. Look at that baby you made. Look at that little kid. Boy, that is a little one. Then we ended the month with a 24-hour live stream, a full 24 hours of living on the ranch. The 30 and 30, as it, began, as it became known, was an amazing experience. For me, it showed how much people cared, how many people came to rely on their time on the ranch. And when it ended, I know there were thousands that were disappointed. Unfortunately, there was really no way that I could keep it going forever, but I am excited to tell you that the 30 and 30 will be back in 2021. It'll take place during calving, and it'll end with another 24-hour live stream, and I can't wait. So after the 30 and 30, it was life back to normal. Well, as normal as it could be. Kids' school was closed. We were homeschooling for the first time ever, and our time became more and more scarce and more and more valuable. Calving continued. A brand new installation began on the ranch also. And while some things were looking to get a little bit easier, moving and working cows, for example, other tasks on the ranch, well, they seem to be following 2020's lead and making things as hard as possible. Cows continued moving through the pastures, and it wasn't long before we realized that we were not going to have a hay crop this year. Because of a lack of hay, we had to come up with a plan to feed our cows while trying to save money on buying hay into the winter. We came up with a winter grazing rota rotation, and it actually worked, although we won't know the uh, final outcome until sometime in January, and, and I'll let you know when we figure that out. In July, the first lady of the state of Wyoming visited the ranch, not to see me, but to hang out with Erin and congratulate her on the accomplishments that her and her friend Megan had made with their nonprofit, The Edible Prairie Project. Before we knew it, Summer was almost gone, and we wrapped up summer with the Ranch Roundup, inviting subscribers and fans to come visit the ranch, meet the cows, and a whole lot more.
That footage, by the way, never seen before. But I'm proud to announce that the 2021 Ranch Roundup is gonna happen. Now we listened to you and we moved it to June so that more kids and families with children can attend. So I'm glad to say that the weekend of June 26th, you're invited to the ranch. Tickets will go on sale soon. Just keep an eye on our website, ourwyomonglife.com. All year long, we also continued another project that caught traction in 2020, and that was the creation of our live stream channel, Beyond the Ranch, giving people a chance to interact with us and get a real behind the scenes look at us, our family, and the entire ranch. Aaron and Mike bring you into their world. It's not just chickens and the Angus herd. So take off your boots, relax, and go beyond the ranch. It's from one of those live streams recently where a question was asked that really got us all thinking. What's your favorite video moment from 2020 on the channel? That's a good question. Do you have a favorite? Thank you, Super Chat 73 Ford. Um, I mean, any video that I'm in. Oh, jeez, wow. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, I think the I think the 30 and 30 was. Um, I think, you know, that's 30 videos. <laughs> the 30 of 30 was your favorite. I think, yeah, I think just that you doing that and stuff and, and what that did for the channel and, and how it brought the audience together during COVID and, and everything, I think was really, um, I think it was a good thing. It was really hard towards the end. What was your favorite video? Most recently, actually, my favorite moment in the video was actually when we were putting chickens in the bags. And I said, which way do these things go in? And you said, head oh. down first. <laughs> Not like they don't have heads, you know. My favorite video of the year, I would have to say, is probably um, What's a Cow Worth? Oh. I think that that one, I think that, um, you know, over this year, we kind of we kind of figured out that we could kind of speak for the producer. Not for every producer, because trust me, I get a lot of crap from a lot of producers. But like a majority of the producers, we can try to speak for them. And like being able to do that video and and bring that to people's attention, and it's, it's got like a hundred thousand views now or whatever it has. And like you know, I've I've had contact with you know news and media and stuff like that because of it. And like you know, it, it, it is it's bringing something to the forefront that that people don't really think about that much. And, and COVID's really given us the opportunity yeah. to do that. Because the kids weren't here to give their answer, they wanted to tell us those videos today so let's ask them what's up all right Can you see Alrighty, girls what uh what was your favorite uh video of 2020 do you remember grace mm, bambi's calf when bambi had a calf that was a big day What was your what was your favorite video of the of the year? When Peanut went to the wild. Really, you like that video? Yeah. Why'd you like that video? Because Peanut's a wild calf now. <laughs> one at a time. One at a time. Come on out. Come on, Peanut. You can do it. Good job, buddy. Mm -hmm. So, today, <laughs> we say goodbye to Peanut as a bottle calf. He's gonna go out here in the wild, as wild as we get, I guess. Learn about all kinds of new things. And become a steer in his own right. Just Peanut said he's not really a wild calf, he's still a little tame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, you guys can head back downstairs. Thank you for helping me out, though. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. So, yeah, 2020 is almost over. It's in the books. And hopefully we can close that book and we can uh, hope to learn from it. And we can also hope to move forward. 
For us, it means that uh, we'll continue to strive to be advocates for agriculture. I used to think that uh, people should know where their food comes from, but I think that after this year, I think people deserve to know where their food comes from. We'll, con we'll continue to take every opportunity that we can or that we're given to uh, try to make that happen. We also continue, will continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. There are few people that went above and beyond in supporting our Wyoming life and our efforts, and those people do so by buying beef jerky and our t-shirts and other apparel on our website. And for those guys, yeah, I really have no way of thanking you except for saying that we hope we never disappoint you. Thank you very much for supporting us on our website. Others have even went further and uh, to support us on Patreon for as little as $1 per month. And I know that my this year my schedule has not really allowed me to give a whole lot of extra content back to you, but... Uh, uh, as I hope to anyway. Uh, but that's where you can go for extra footage and more behind the scenes stuff like that as well. Thank you. And if you are a Patreon supporter, look for your name at the end of this video as a way to show our gratitude. As we head into our little break, I would like to remind you again to comment your favorite videos from this year. And if you get to missing us, look in those comments and go back. Find that one moment that you forgot because every video is a gift to you. And I hope that you enjoy them. Have a Merry Christmas and an even better New Year. And I'll see you in 2021 on our Wyoming Life. You see them all over this great old land From the northeast, west, and southern ends They ain't shy about what they think or making a stand What we're talking about is a country man See them cruising their town in pickup trucks four-wheel driving gear they don't take no guff yet there ain't a good cause that they ever pass up they're to lend a hand when someone needs to step up Hank Jr. sang about how they all can run a trot line treat their mamas and daddies with respect and kind Danny Slick gives them friction like another Hank song not looking for trouble but And their women too Show respect to those They know respect is due Doesn't mean they ain't above Their share of whiskey or shine They work hard all day Then like to have a good time In the collection plate They'll be drinking beer With family Sunday afternoons Then it's up Monday morning Got to pay your dues See them all over this great old land From the north, east, west And southern ends They ain't shy about what they think Or making a stand What we're talking about Is a country man Country man.